The coordinates of the endpoints of directed line segment ABC are uh, A is negative 8 comma 7. So I'm going to draw this. Uh, I'm going to say A is over here uh, where this is negative 8 comma 7. And I'm going to say C is over here. I know it's going to be to the right of A and uh, underneath A because the X and Y coordinates, uh, based on the X and Y coordinates there. And again, I didn't draw this on a grid and that's on purpose because this kind of question is a uh, similar triangle question in disguise. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect AC together. I'm going to do a little better job at that. Okay. Uh, point B by uh, partitions line segment AC into ratios of three to two. So that means point B is going to be closer towards point C than it is towards point A. And this is the location for point B. I don't know where point B is supposed to be, but I do know that the line segment, if I call BC 2N, the segment, the length of the segment BC, that is 2N, then AB will be 3N. Or you can think of the entire segment as 5N. All right. So to find out where point B is supposed to be with respect to either points A or C, uh, one way we're going to approach this is to turn this into a right triangle problem, a right triangle similarity problem. So looking at this, I don't know where the um, what the x and y coordinates are, so I'm going to call this horizontal x and I'll call this y. If I can figure out what x and y is, then I can add or subtract from point C to identify the coordinates of point B. In the big triangle, I am aware of the horizontal dimension here. So let's see here, 7 minus negative 8, that's 15. So this segment here is 15. And the vertical segment there, it's 7 minus thir negative 13, so that would be 20. This is drawn really not to scale, which is okay. All right, so what I do know is this, that these, that the small triangle and the big triangle are similar, so I can set up a uh, proportion to figure to determine the values of x and y. So I know x to 15 is, will equal to y to 20. And all, and both of these are supposed to equal to 2n to 5n. So looking at this, right, even though I have three proportions set up, I can solve one proportion at a time. I can say x over 15 is equal to 2n over 5n. Well, 2n over 5n, isn't that just 2 fifths, right? So x over 15 is equal to 2 fifths. I can cross-multiply both sides by 15. So x is equal to 15 times 2 fifths. So x is equal to 6. I want to do the same thing with the y variable. So y over 20 is equal to 2 fifths. Cross multiply both sides by 20. I get y is equal to 8. So now I know what the x and y values are, 6 and 8. Uh, that's not necessarily telling me what the coordinates of B is. So looking at this, okay, relative to point C, I will have to go to move six units to the left. So that means I'm going to have to subtract six. So seven minus six is going to be one. And then from negative 13, I'm going to have to go up eight units. So I want to add eight to negative 13, and that will give me negative five. So, 
the coordinate for B that will generate AC being partitioned into ratios of 3 to 2 will be 1, negative 5, and that would be option 1.